Okay, so you've now been introduced to function notation. What I'd like to do in this video is just go through a couple of examples of types of questions that you can expect to see and how to approach them. So let's go through the first one. Given that f of x is equal to x squared minus 2, determine the value of f of negative 2. What I want you to notice is that this is f of x and this is f of minus 2. So what we have to do when we answer, we're going to look for f of minus 2. So all we're going to do is wherever we see an x here, we're going to replace it with a minus 2. Just like here, they've replaced the x with the minus 2. We're going to do the same in the equation. A big, big help is using brackets. Brackets are our friends. So here, instead of x squared, I've got minus 2 all squared, minus 2. Now we say minus 2 all squared. Hopefully you remember it's positive 4. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2, and that's our final answer. So we just replaced our x value with the value of minus 2. Let's go on to another one. Now this one is interesting because you'll notice that it no longer says f of x. This is now g of x. It really doesn't make a difference which letter they choose to use there. It is more the way that it's written. g of x implies that it's a function. So given that g of x is equal to 3x plus 7, determine the value of g of 2 over 3. Now just like before, instead of an x, now we have a 2 over 3. So wherever we see an x in our equation, we're going to put a 2 over 3. So we're going to say g of 2 over 3 is 3 times 2 over 3 plus 7. And we can just calculate this. And we're going to get 2 plus 7, because our 3s are going to cancel out, and we'll get 9. From this, we can say, if we input the value of 2 over 3 into the function g, we're going to get an output value of 9. This is then also the y value. Remember, x is our input, and y is our output input, and y is our output. So writing g of x or writing y equals, it's pretty equivalent because they both represent the output. Okay, so now let's get into a slightly tougher one here. I want to make sure that we cover all our bases here. Given that h of x, again, it doesn't matter the letter, given that the function h of x equals 1 minus 2x, determine 3hx. Now, here's the thing, we're so used to having the number inside there that this might trip us up. But we know that if they ask us for h of x, it is 1 minus 2x. And here they're just saying, give me three of those. So we're going to say 3h of x is the same as saying 3, and then again, brackets are our friends, 1 minus 2x, because 1 minus 2x is h of x. Then we're going to distribute across there, so 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and we've got our x, and there you go. That's our answer. They didn't ask you to find an x value, so don't worry that you haven't. Okay, next one. So given that h of x is equal to minus is equal to 1 minus 2x, just like before, determine h of 2x. Again, wherever we see an h, we're now going to replace it with a 2x. Oh, beg your pardon. Wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with a 2x. So we're going to say that h of 2x is going to be the same as 1 minus 2. Now here we have an x, so we're going to replace it with a 2x. All right. So here we've got 1 minus 4x. And that is all that they're asking us for. Again, they didn't ask us to solve for x. Now one more we've got here. Find hx plus 2. Remember, hx is this whole situation. And they're saying take all of hx and just add 2. So h of x plus 2 would just be 1 minus 2x. That's our h of x. And we add 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 2x. So there you go. That is our whole answer. Remember, h of x is this whole thing. And they said take that whole thing and add 2. So that's what we've done here. And now our last one, and I think sometimes this can be the trickiest one, so that's why I've just left it to last, says h of x plus 
two. Now, I hope you see the difference. Here, we said h of x and then separately plus two. Here, we're saying h of x plus two. So let's have a look how we would do that. Wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with x plus two. So here, h of x plus two is going to equal one minus two brackets, please. And now instead of just an x, we're going to have an x plus 2. We're going to remember to simplify this by multiplying out. So minus 2 times x is going to give me minus 2x. Minus 2 times positive 2 is going to give me negative 4. And I'm going to simplify further and I'm going to get negative 3 minus 2x. All right, guys, it's nothing more complicated than that. I just wanted to go through these different types of examples so that you would have them available to you should you get faced with similar questions. All right, guys, good luck.